Hello and welcome to part 4 of um, creating a custom Drupal 7 theme from an HTML template. Um, I'm just going to apologise first up, I've got a bit of a flu, so if my voice sounds strange or if I'm a bit lethargic, um, I'm trying to push on and get this series completed, um, but um, the whole family is quite, quite ill at the moment. So today we're going to start looking at actually getting our theme started. Now if you've installed Zen and Xenophile, um, Zen is the theme and Xenophile is a module. Uh, if you go to Appearance and we can go, the, if you've got a Xenophile um, installed, you'll have an extra tab at the top here. Uh, create a Zen sub theme. Um, it'll pick up a few details just off the name of your site and things. Um, so I just want to call that uh, TV YouTube is fine, I guess. Get rid of that. Um, okay, and, and all these are, I'm just going to leave as they are. You can change them if you want. Um, and the more options, I want it to adjust the size of our right hand sidebar uh, because we're going to be using that for placement on our front page. Um, so I'm going to override the sidebar widths and I want to have that out to, let's try 320. I think um, we'll be fine leave them where they are. I also want to create a fresh CSS file. Um, this is where I'm going to put all the CSS that we put in. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit more later on. And I'm just going to submit that. And this is going to create our sub theme. So it's done. Now if we go back to our theme list. We'll be able to scroll down and find our theme. And here it is. Uh, the YouTube theme. So I'm going to enable and set as default. Right. Now if I go back to our front page, <laughs> you notice it's changed quite a bit. So we've got a wider sidebar here um, and this is basically a, a default um, Zen theme. Obviously, we've got the wider sidebar at the side here. Now, a couple of things I want to check out before we go further is just what is the default layout like? Where are the regions in this actual theme? <coughs> so if I go back to structure and to blocks, and then I want to demonstrate the block regions, just to have a look what regions are there. Okay. Now, we've got the header, navigation bar, the, the first sidebar, the highlighted, and the second sidebar are all in the same space. Uh, foot and bottom page. So this is this is reasonably standard. But if I have a quick look at our uh, Photoshop file um, from earlier, let me turn, put the layers back on. Um, what we've actually got is a, is a site that stacks pretty much one div on top of the other. So we've got a header. Um, a navigation and then this um, featured content which I'm using just the highlighted region for. Um, then we have a second um, content area and then we basically have where it splits into two pieces from the news and the trendy topics. So this is going to be our sidebar and this will be our normal content region and the stuff above it, and this is pretty much just custom to the front page. Um, this area here is just sort of custom to the front page. And again, going back to have a look at that uh, site, you see that the second sidebar and the highlighted are on the same level. They start at the same place. But we actually want this highlighted to go right across from, from the left all the way across to the right. We want the sidebar and the content and the second sidebar to all be in the same level. So that's something that we're going to have to change um, straight off for this actual theme. So I'll open up my... Um, NetBeans so that we can open it up and start moving these around. <coughs> the good thing about starting with a, a sub theme like Zen is that a lot of the code has already been done for you. Um, the other approach is to copy across your um, HTML index file and then create the regions for yourself. But we're going to kind of go the other way, we're going to drop our content into the Zen thing. And 
now while we wait, um, if we go back to our, it's a little bit slow when I'm recording, you see, there we go. So I can open up my Acola Drupal sites all uh, themes. Oh, sorry. And we'll have our TB YouTube file, which is our new Zen sub thing. Now, if I open up templates, you notice there's nothing in here. Um, CSS, we're going to have all our CSS fields, and there's a fresh one that we created as well for putting our information into. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to Zen, I'm going to go into the template file, and I'm going to find the page tpl.php file. This is the one that gives us the basic page structure. And I'm going to copy that and drop that into our templates file and our theme. So what that will do is that will override using the Zen default page setup and allow us to use our own. So I'm going to paste that in there. Now at this stage we're theming the front page. Now there's a really great thing with um, Drupal 7. If I just put in there page front.tpl.php it will pick up this file as being for the front page only and then all other pages it will default to the Zen page that we've got here and again later we'll change that to make it look consistent across the sites. So we now have the page front TPL. Um, I'm going to open that up. <coughs> Pardon me. And if we scroll down, um, a lot of this should be quite familiar to you. Um, so we've got the header section, the name, the slogan, the site name, etc. etc. Now as I was saying just before, if I go back to my PSD, there's a couple of ways we can do this header. We could create this as a logo, the little blue bit as a logo, and we could have this as the site name text and the site slogan text. Um, but there's no real reason to do it that way um, for this particular example. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it out um, as a logo. Um, so I've done this, I'll just turn off my um, layer, just copy that out and paste it into another page. So this is what I've got at the moment. Um, basically this is 100, uh, 285 wide by 114 high. Um, if I zoom in, you may not pick it up, but there's a very slight um, gradient at the bottom of this this image, um, which is why I've gone a little bit deeper in the image and a little bit larger. Um, and because this will be the uh, about the height of our whole header area as well, so it'll help with spacing things out nice and easily for us. Um, so going back to our to our first um, site page. The first thing I'll do just to start us kick us off um, is I'm going to change this logo and header to that one that we've just created. So I'm going to go into the appearance. I'm going to go into the settings for my theme. I'm going to turn off the site name and I'm going to turn off the site slogan because I, because I don't want those. I'm going to leave the logo because we're going to upload the whole thing as a, as a logo. And I'm going to find my logo. I already have it in the in the the first site that I made. Uh, front page logo, and I'm just going to upload that. Uh, breadcrumbs, you can change those if you like, but we're not really using them much in this. Now, an important thing when you're developing the theme, um, particularly with Zen and stuff, um, you can leave the theme registry um, on. So every time you load a page, it's going to check the re the theme registry. Now that's really key if you're adding new pages, new TPL files and things, uh, it will automatically um, find those. You may find that if you're using a different sub theme um, that you need to refresh your cache um, by going into the configurations, um, performance and refresh your cache so that it will actually find that new page you've added. And I'm going to save that. Okay, and we've already started to make it look a little bit more like our Tech Bytes theme. 
Now, as I was mentioning, we're going to now take a look at the layout. Now, the site slogan, we didn't want it. Um, the site name is something else we also didn't want. Um, so I'm actually going to take out all of that from our code. It's, it's something that we don't actually need here. We will need the logo at the very top because that's what's putting in our logo. Uh, now it's got the, an if statement here, so if there is a site name and if there is a site slogan then it will print out all of these bits of code. Um, so make sure that when you check your div, just check um, to the top of it. If there's an if statement you'll need to also find an ending end if. Um, and it can be a little bit confusing sometimes when you're looking through here. So here's one and here's the the end of the end if. Um, so here it is. Um, this ends this this piece here. Um, this is why I, I, I quite like um, using NetBeans. It will mark things out quite quite clearly for you. Like when I click on this div, it will find the ending div for you as well. Um, so I know I can take out all of this code. I can delete that. Um, secondary links. If we have a look at our front page, this these links here: my account and logout. Um, I'm just going to get rid of those as well because we don't need them. They're not part of our of our theme here. Um, so I will get rid of those. I'm going to delete that. Um, save it. Now, if I go back to my page and refresh, they're gone. Now, to show you what I mean about the front page, if I go now to the Mac Pro Ref Refresh page. It's picking up <coughs> the logo, but as far as the page layout goes, it's still using the default Zen layout, which is why we still have this in here. Now, the way I usually go is I will set up my front page first, and then I will copy that across to the page TPL so that it's consistent across all the pages, if that's what I'm looking for. Um, so now we have the front page starting to um, come along.